Aloha family, Spencer Mack here. In this video, I would like to articulate the importance of the word, the power of mantra and conscious thought. They say a picture speaks a thousand words, but a word can also bring a thousand pictures to mind. Strength, what do you see, Superman? A strong body, lifting a lot of weight, relaxation, you see a body at peace, a mind at peace. A majority of our thoughts throughout the day, at least for the average person, are completely unconscious and they're repetition of previous day's thoughts. If we keep bringing these same thoughts to mind, we'll keep getting the same results. If we desire to create change in our reality, we need to implement new thoughts. Thoughts are the most subtle form of action. And words are the keys to building and forming thoughts that lead to vision, that create emotion, that create action. So one way that an individual could apply a mantra I call it personally prescribed mantra is to sit with yourself and feel what is your greatest tension what's your greatest frustration in these last couple weeks I felt weak and tired and my legs have felt weak and I realized that I think that when I get up like oh, I feel kind of empty I feel kind of weak and this morning I remembered the power of the mantra now there's definitely a difference between being delusional and speaking truth. So when we can bring our mind's eye to those states, those states of energy or character traits that we wish to embody and to spend time thinking about those, those feelings start to permeate our being and reshape our character. But it's extremely important to understand that time plus intensity equals effect. If you just spend five minutes in the morning saying your mantras and then you go back to the 80% of your day that's just a reiteration of all your past, you're not going to make a difference. It's too small. Find that tension, that weakness. Say you feel anxious. Say there's fear in you. Bring up the words relax. I am relaxed, I am peaceful, I am calm. I am relaxed, I am peaceful, I am calm. I am relaxed, I am peaceful, I am calm. And make that self-prescribed mantra your point of focus. See how long you can keep it going in your mind. If you sit down and have a good five or 10 minute session with that mantra and then go about your day, you will guaranteed find it follows you. It will have an afterburn effect to where it continues to loop in your mind. Now, if we can continuously choose these proper thoughts and be aware enough to catch ourselves when we have limiting thoughts, limiting beliefs that come up, like, oh, this isn't gonna work out my financial situation. I'm in a tough spot. Be like, I have faith. I am abundant. I am grateful. Often just appreciating what we have brings that feeling of wealth. I am grateful. I am appreciative of all that I've received. I have faith in the creator, in life. Creating the right mantra to be the antidote for the negative self-talk that we catch ourselves in. If we can create this as a pattern, we can literally redefine our character. What types of character traits do you want to embody? What words define those? If we spend time contemplating these words to really understand the definition, it will redefine our minds, our bodies, our character. All of this is a result of the thoughts that we have held most frequently. 
sorry, storage was full. So we are a composition of all of the past thoughts that we've ever had that have led to the actions and the beliefs that affect directly our chemistry that our body produces, the way we hold our posture, how we perceive ourselves or think others perceive us. So when we can contemplate these ideal words, really define those character traits, those types of perceptions or awarenesses that we wish to have, and repeat them as a mantra. We literally have the power to reprogram our subconscious. Eventually, these things that you've thought so much consciously will take up that 80% of the day. You'll start to catch yourself contemplating peace, patience, grace, innocence, gratitude, gentleness. I'm a big fan of the Yi Ching, of the Tao Te Ching, and the contemplation of what they call proper principles, such as the words I just expressed. Humility, kindness, gentleness. What are those things? Chances are we spend a lot less time contemplating those words than we have, I'm anxious, oh, I fucked up, I'm too weak. Oh, I injured that. It's broken. We probably spend far more time contemplating the negative in a completely unconscious manner than we have collecting ourselves and directing our minds at those things that we respect, that we value. Defining our virtues and contemplating them chronically. Granted, at a certain point, the mantra can become a hindrance. The mantra is a tool to almost pacify the monkey mind, to give it something to do that's productive while we are quieting and stilling our mind, to find that place of stillness where we're receptive and sensitive to all of ourself, our whole experience, internally and externally, our environment and our internal environment. So certainly at a point the mantra can become a hindrance. We don't want to just be stuck in chronic thought or trying to force a state. Allowing ourselves to be receptive, to learn, to listen to the ultimate teacher, to the source that knows. The mantra can get us to a place that quiets our mind because of a chronic repetition, a single point of awareness. So finding that balance in yourself, knowing, using that mantra to relieve you of the tension, of the anxieties, and to unify the mind onto a single point of awareness to bring you to that presence that doesn't require thought, complete presence and awareness. So that's the value of the mantra, of the word, of defining your thoughts writing them down also helps to ingrain it more so than typing speaking it onto a recorder and listening to yourself really knowing those virtues those values you want to embody and defining them creating a mantra even if it's spoken in a tone or a rhythm that's more catchy if you could write a song with your ideal values and virtues that would even accelerate the ability for it to integrate into your person, personality, your being. Awesome, my friends. That's my perspective on the mantra and how to create your personally prescribed definitions and mantras. Hope this is of help. Love to hear feedback. Any ideas on future videos are extremely appreciated. Lots of love and appreciation for you guys. And see you in the next one. Peace.